Ongezwa, you need to work hard. You need to get good grades. This is your final year. I understand and I agree, but how do I do that? Where do I even begin? Overdue assignments, missed deadlines, and learning but not learning, and honestly just going and going. You may be wondering how I got here. The answer is simple. 2020 has been a year for everyone and for me too. Allow me to take you through my 2020. I am from a very small town, Ngamakwe, in a rural location, Ewongaletu. The term technology is very foreign and the devices that we use as journalism television students require just that. Let me give you a picture of where I come from. Imagine a place that is about 20 kilometers away from town. There is no electricity and this means you cannot charge a phone or a laptop. Even though it is very warm with loving family and comfort, studying at home is almost impossible. This is my home. Well, it has become my home now and it is in Carltonville in Gauteng, a township mostly occupied by mine workers. This is where my father lives. He is a mine worker. He goes to work every night and I have to stay behind and study. I had to come here to live with my father because that was the only option I had. Well, I had two options, but I had to pick one. Either to go home to Ngamakwe, live with my mom and sisters like I usually do and take a gap here, or come here and live with my dad and continue with the online learning and with my academic year. Well, I chose to go to Gauteng, but when the lockdown was announced, close the gate, close the schools, close the libraries, close the public spaces, limit contact with people, stay indoors. I felt it. I sit in this room almost every hour of the day. I sleep here. I study here. And it is where most of the crying happens. I spend most of the time trying to connect to network and it happens sometimes, but it's a struggle. I keep on trying and trying and in most cases it always ends with a fail and I have so many assignments that I have to submit and it almost seems like everything is catching up on me. The work overload and I have questions about this online learning. How do I feel about it? The online learning? Honestly, I could say a lot about it. I feel that it's not working and is not designed to cater for underprivileged students. I know you're probably saying that we get data and laptops to support the learning, but even that is not enough. We get 10 gig of data to work during the day and 20 gig to work during the night. We have to open slides, do readings, which are very difficult to understand, and also to watch YouTube tutorials to help with the understanding. Is that enough? There are many things that impact on the productivity of an individual, not just data and laptops. Is the environment conducive of learning? I can't say the same about where I am. When my dad leaves for work, I have to keep the lights off. It does not feel safe to be alone in the house and the only option I have is to work during the day. Now imagine trying to work and there is noise coming from everywhere including children playing on the street. Firstly, I have to teach myself and for me to actually understand, I have to go through slides, go on YouTube and do readings and it always feels like I am not doing enough. If there's one thing I've come to realize about this online learning is that whenever there's something happening in the country, the underprivileged students are always disregarded. 
I say this because what about the learners in villages like mine who do not have an option of going anywhere, who do not have electricity to continue with their learning on TVs and radios, who do not even understand the language being used to teach in the TVs, for instance. Let me take you through my primary school life till grade 9. I went to a school next to my villages, Gunzeshe. It was all black students and we all spoke as a closer. All my teachers had a way of fighting the language barrier. We would get notes in English, but the teachers would explain in a class and use familiar examples in their teachings. Umzegelo, even with English, they explained using a class and mathematics. It really did help. I have watched more than three episodes of this online learning on TV, and I can say it only caters for learners who understand English. Now, the question is, is this online learning fair? Do you feel that it's fair? And who is always there to suffer? Is the education system fair? Yes, education is free, but is it equal? Think about it.